Hello travelers, welcome to Maze Ways. I'm in the driver's seat today. Today we're doing two things. One, we're coming at you at normal speed, and two, we're gonna see if using the express lanes at night gets us through downtown Orlando any faster or not. Let's go. We're on I-4 East at the Conroy Road exit, which is just above us with Orlando lit up. All the amusement parks are behind us, which is where we came from, and the John Young Parkway is coming up just ahead, so we're on the west side of downtown right now. It's a Wednesday night, about 7.30, pre-daylight savings. Traffic's not really too bad, but we have the option to use the express lanes coming up soon, and we've been talking about whether or not we're going to do it. Hmm. Wonder which way we're going to go. We're drifting to the left, so clearly we've decided to go for it. So why did we make the move? First of all, we are riding with a SunPass transponder on our windshield. I'll talk about the SunPass more in a minute. Second, we can see the traffic ahead of us bunching up a little bit more and more. We're heading for the coast, so we're looking for the opportunity to glide through downtown without the slowdowns of exiting and merging traffic. And third, the price doesn't seem too bad, I guess. Later in the video, we'll figure out whether this was a good decision on our part or not. But at least in this short period of time, we've passed a big block of traffic in the normal lanes, and the road ahead of us in the express lane looks wide open. Okay, let's talk about some of the legalities of these express lanes. First, you must have a SunPass transponder or similar. Similar, I know, means from Georgia or North Carolina. Frankly, I'm a little unclear as to whether other transponders from other areas like the EZ Pass would work here or not. If you know the answer to that, please let me know in the comments. These lanes are for two axle vehicles, so no trailers, no trucks. The overhead signs tell you the price for each segment. Unlike toll roads, the price here can vary. The more congested the express lanes are, the higher the price is going to be. The object here is to create and maintain a reliable flow of traffic. When congestion is higher and the prices are higher, it's expected that drivers will be a bit more discerning about whether they choose to use the express lanes or not, which in turn is keeping those lanes a little bit more wide open. We've passed the exit on the right, so we're now committed to the next segment of this express lane. There, did you see that flash? It's here where your compliance with having a transponder is being monitored. The cameras get a picture of your license tag, and if your transponder is not detected, you can expect to get a little something in the mail from the state of Florida. On toll roads, you can get away without having a transponder, as Florida will send you a toll via the mail under the Toll by Plate program. Cash toll booths are largely going away, so at least if you don't have a transponder, you can pay the toll by mail. This is not true on the express lanes, however. If you don't have a transponder, you'll be considered to be in violation of the law, so you can expect to receive in the mail not only toll charges, but fines and service charges as well. So make sure you have a compliant transponder before entering the express lanes in Florida. We're not too far from downtown now, so we're about to get some great nighttime views of the city as we pass through it. As I look around, I will admit, traffic does not look too bad in the normal lanes right now. We seem to have passed much of the congestion that we saw a couple of minutes ago, and the three normal lanes seem to be moving just as well as our two express lanes. So I don't know, we may be wasting money right now, but I'm going to let the city lights distract me from that for the time being. Here we're passing under West Anderson Street, and if you move your gaze to the left, you'll see the Amway Center come into view, while to the right, we see the AC Hotel by Marriott. The Amway Center opened in 2010 and is home to the NBA's Orlando Magic, the ECHL's Orlando Solar Bears, and the Arena League's Orlando Predators. 
it's hard to tell what everything is at this time of night. But on the left, through the overpasses, you'll see some various Florida and federal court buildings. And it's in this area, too, that the Florida A&M Law School is and the University of Central Florida downtown campus. Regarding our transponder use, we of course are using it today for the express lanes, but our primary reason for having it is to use it on Florida's toll roads. I would imagine that's the reason most people would get a sun pass. It works on all of Florida's toll roads, plus express lanes, certain toll bridges. It also works for parking in airports in Miami, Orlando, Palm Beach, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, plus the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. We have an older model transponder which works in Georgia and North Carolina. There is a SunPass Pro being offered now that expands service to Kansas, Oklahoma, and parts of Texas, plus areas that use the EZ Pass. So the convenience of it is really growing. At this point, we've passed Lake Concord on our left, and at this bridge, we're going to pass over Lake Ivanhoe, where things turn more residential around us. Well, I'm looking at the traffic to our right, and we're going faster than they are a little bit, but it's not like it's slow or congested over there. So what do we think about our decision to use the express lanes? For this stretch of road up to Florida 436, we will have spent $2 on tolls, and maybe we have saved ourselves a minute or two in time. Other than that first block of congestion that we went around when we first entered the express lanes, those lanes have been pretty much moving as fast as we are. So I think in this instance, we probably didn't need to spend the $2. We could have just stayed in the regular lanes and gotten through Orlando just fine. Now, if we had been coming through here maybe three hours earlier, it might have been a different story. Tolls might have also been higher at that time, too, if the traffic was more congested. I would think if you're a regular commuter in Orlando, these express lanes would be advantageous for you. This time around, you win, Florida. I want my $2! I had fun with this video and I hope you got something out of it. Please consider giving this video a like if you found it useful. More content is on its way and you'll see it first if you subscribe. If you like driving through Florida, be sure to click on this link right here to see some of our own road trips as well as some 360 video. Or check this link out over here for one of our recent journeys. Thanks for the visit. Bye now.